मनी हाइस्ट इट्स अ शो दैट प्रॉब्ली डजेंट नीड एन इंट्रोडक्शन एंड इट्स लास्ट एंड फाइनल चैप्टर इज फाइनली हियर Now there's a lot that we can discuss about the series from its underlying themes and philosophies to its action sequences to even the greatly complex and layered characters. But when I watched this show, I was a bit transfixed on the stage that brought this show to life. Yes, I am talking about the architecture and design that went behind it. In this video today, we will explore the different shooting locations, design themes and the overall impact of architecture in the crazy world of money heist beta jo ko ye sakar us ka ji there are a lot of incredible places that we need to discuss in this video but first let's start with the central stage for season 1 and 2 the royal mint of spain this is the building that stands tall as a fortress with these amazing interiors for which the professor even created a model while not to burst your bubble but this isn't actually the royal mint of spain the real royal mint is where the country's money is printed so of course shooting there would not have been possible further the mint is located on a narrow street so even if they wanted to shoot on the outside the logistics just wouldn't have made sense so to shoot these scenes a new location was found the headquarters of the spanish national research council This space, known to be the largest scientific research institute in Europe, was picked because its architectural style or language, as you may see, was very similar to the Royal Mint. And there is a huge space in front of the building, which gave the crew ample space to shoot. But in this space, only the external scenes were shot. The internal scenes were mostly shot in another location, and these sets were all built for the shoot. When you look at the interior shots they look grand and authoritative. They look like spaces where there will be order and discipline. And then when they created disorder and chaos in a location like this, it took the visuals of the show to a whole new level. But there were two more spaces of this building that were shot on location. The first is the room where the money was being printed. So remember the heist in season 1 was about printing bank notes. and we saw these rooms with giant printers where the plan was being executed these shots were all shot in the printing rooms of a company called abc they had giant machines and the setup was perfect to mimic what printing in the royal mint would feel like another location that we thought was from the royal mint of spain because of seamless editing were the scenes shot on the roof now going to the roof was not possible at the headquarters of csic as it does not have a rooftop Therefore for these scenes they went to the rooftop of the aeronautical engineering school at Madrid and shot these scenes there. One of the most beautiful spaces from season 1 and 2 was the house where all the members of the team stayed and trained for 6 months. It's actually a rental place where wedding banquets are usually held. The charming house surrounded by a rustic garden is called Finca El Gasco and has no less than 11 rooms, 5 bathrooms and kitchen which makes it a perfect venue for special occasions. Another location that we see towards the end of season 2 is Philippines when Raquel goes to find the professor. Well, these scenes weren't actually shot in the Philippines. For those of you who do not know, Money Heist was originally built for the Spanish TV and it was a total flop there. Netflix then bought it and put it up on its platform and just like that without Netflix even promoting it it went viral. When the ending of season 2 was being shot the show was actually cancelled. So for the last scene the producers didn't have enough money to actually film on location. So they built a set that would look like the Philippines and CGI the notion. But all of this changed when Netflix bought the show. It reached newer and newer heights and that not only meant that the show was back in action for more seasons it also meant that the creators had the full force and budget of Netflix behind them this is one of the prime reasons why season 3 4 and 5 are actually much bigger and much more ambitious season 3 of the show opened with rio and tokyo on a tropical island now with netflix completely funding the show the crew was able to shoot on location 
These scenes were actually filmed in an archipelago of almost 400 islands scattered along the Caribbean coast of Panama. It is an amazing ecotourism destination and after the show it has become even more popular. Some of the companies that offer sailboat and catamaran tours have started to stop on the islands where the shooting took place. Okay, next up comes my second most favorite space from this whole show. When Tokyo comes to find the professor, she shows up in Thailand to this spectacular structure. This structure is called the Sanctuary of Truth in Thailand. It is an unfinished museum which is a hybrid of a temple and a castle based on Ayutthaya period and Buddhist and Hindu beliefs. It was designed by a Thai businessman in 1981 and has since been under construction, though visitors are permitted inside with hard hats. So the team gathers in Thailand and the professor comes up with a new plan, a much more ambitious and a much more dangerous heist. The next location we see is perhaps the most iconic location that people world over instantly recognized and that was the Florence Cathedral. Here we see the professor and Berlin meet. And by the way, I have visited Florence and was fortunate enough to witness it with my own eyes. And when Berlin says, Where everyone dresses with style. That is completely true. I can vouch for that statement. Florence Cathedral, for those of you who do not know, is the main cathedral of Florence. It is famous among students of architecture, not just because it is a beautiful structure, but because its dome, which was constructed by Filippo Brunelleschi, was at the time the largest dome in the world and is still date one of the largest brick domes in the world. We see some more shots of it later in the series. From the Duomo, we come straight away to my most favorite building from the entire series. This is the monastery where Berlin was staying. These amazing shots were all filmed in the San Frutos Hermitage which we see later again as the gang's new headquarters where they prepare for the heist. However, just like all the other locations, the interior and exterior shots are two different locations. So the exterior shots were all shot at this hermitage. However, the interior shots were all shot in a place called Abadia de Power Cells. This is actually a beautiful venue that is mostly booked for gatherings, photo shoots and TV shootings. Berlin's wedding, the gang's roundtable discussion and all the other notorious activities were all shot right here. Finally, we see the first step of Professor's new plan. Yes, this is the scene where the blimp threw out $140 million in Madrid. These blimps fly over Madrid and with them we get glimpses of the skyscrapers located there. We witness the four towers in Madrid's Paseo de la Castellana that prominently constitute the landscape of the city's business area. And finally, it's time to rain money. This scene where they actually drop the money was filmed in Calao Square. It's like Madrid's own version of Times Square. And mind you, shooting this scene was not easy at all. There were problems with banknotes getting stuck in fans, with a rainstorm coming in to drench the bills, and even with losing the green screen background on the giant screens in the square that was supposed to show the professor's message. But as we saw in the final card, they executed it all brilliantly. And then we finally come to our main building for season 3 to 5, the Bank of Spain. Again, for security reasons, the actual Bank of Spain could not be used to shoot. So the building that was actually used is the Ministry of Public Works right in the heart of Madrid. As for the interior shots, they're all sets that were built by Netflix. To create these sets, the film production company even tried to visit the real Bank of Spain to recreate it, but the permit application was rejected for security reasons. Although one detail that was kind of spot on was the water-filled vault. This is actually a feature within the Royal Bank of Spain. Of course, these sets were built separately, but shooting this scene was another nightmare for the team. Not only did they have to build the water-filled chamber and film in it to make it realistic, but they also had issues with the gold ingots, which were all made of plastic by the way, 
and they started floating and then getting crushed by the pressure within the chamber. So all in all, the production designers did a beautiful job creating and scouting locations for this show. There are many famous places that come up in the rest of the seasons. Were you able to identify these? Let me know in the comments below. So that was the architecture within Money Heist. Have you seen any of these locations in real life? And which was your favorite from all the locations and sets discussed? Let me know in the comments below. As always, before leaving, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe to Bless Dark. You can also support this channel via Patreon. The link can be found in the description below. Yeah.